Today's lesson is on making inferences. When you make inferences, it's kind of like you're a detective looking for clues to make a logical conclusion. So what is an inference? An inference is when you take what you know, plus what you read or something you see, and that gives you your inference. So let's practice. Here is our first scenario. Let's start with what I know. What I know is that the dog loves shoes and the dog chews a lot. This is my background knowledge that I already know. And what I see in the picture is that the dog looks guilty and there's a huge mess. So my inference is that the dog chewed up this paper towel and played with the shoes. So how do you talk about or write about an inference? We can use some sentence frames to help us. I can infer that blank because I know blank and I see blank or and I read blank. So in this case, I can infer that the dog chewed up this paper towel and played with the shoes because I know the dog loves shoes and the dog chews a lot and I see the dog looks guilty and there's a huge mess. Here's another way we can say or write an inference. I know blank and I see or and I read blank. Therefore, I can infer that blank. So I know the dog loves shoes and the dog chews a lot. And I see the dog looks guilty and there's a huge mess. Therefore, I can infer that the dog chewed up this paper towel and played with the shoes. Let's try it again. This time, we're going to think about what we read or see first. What I see is the baby has a surprised expression and the baby is holding a green fruit that looks like a lime. What I know is that limes are sour and babies put lots of things in their mouth. So my inference is that the baby tasted the lime. Let's practice writing and saying this inference. I can infer that blank because I know blank and I see or and I read blank. So I can infer that the baby tasted the lime because I know limes are sour and babies put lots of things in their mouth and I see the baby has a surprised expression and the baby is holding a green fruit that looks like a lime. Sometimes you make inferences when you're reading too. So let's try it with this passage. Kelly stomped her feet and pointed angrily at her little brother. Mom was trying to calm her down, but she ran off to her room and slammed the door shut. As mom looked at her son, she sighed. Here we go again, she said. She started picking up the pieces of the puzzle and told Joey, you need to help me clean this up and then go apologize to your sister. What I read is that Kelly is mad and the puzzle is in pieces and mom told Joey to apologize. What I know, my background knowledge, is that siblings bother each other a lot and people apologize when they've done something wrong. So my inference is that Joey destroyed Kelly's puzzle. I know blank and I see or and I read blank. Therefore, I can infer that blank. Let's practice. I know siblings bother each other and people apologize when they've done something wrong. And I read that Kelly is mad, the puzzle is in pieces, and mom told Joey to apologize. Therefore, I can infer that Joey destroyed Kelly's puzzle. 